Oh well. Um. Yeah. Injuries suck. <laughs> Some of them are pretty funny though. Like. There was the time I got stabbed in the head. That's like the most serious injury I've ever had. Like, on purpose or by accident? Um. I was. It's complicated. Oh, you told me the story with the screwdriver, right? Yeah, I had to have a screwdriver surgically removed from my brain. Who the fuck did you piss off? Oh, uh, my brother. Oops. It was an accident, though. Apparently, <laughs> I was like, I was like five, and he like drop kicked me off a bed, and I landed on a screwdriver, and it impaled into my fucking my cranium. I was gonna screwdriver on the ground. Um, I think I was fucking with it. Oh, you have it, like, in your hand kind of thing? Uh, I'm sure I did originally, and then I just, like, put it somewhere. And then I landed on it. Um. And then, I remember, I remember, well, I'm feeling a weird tingly sensation. And then I... Woke up. Not, like, woke up, but, like, kind of came to. And... Like, scratching my head, because my head felt weird. And I felt this fucking thing. I was like, what is this? And I pulled on it. Ah. And the the handle of the screwdriver came off, thank God, and not the whole screwdriver, because I would have died. But uh and then my brother looked at me, I remember, and he was like, uh and like just like completely white. And then my he like screamed, my mother came in and she like fucking lost her mind. And then the like so obviously nine one one was called, and then the cops came and you know, fucking perfect uh Perfect police reporting there. He was like, "Yeah, there's definitely something in there, all right. It's definitely in there." Like, thanks, buddy. I'm glad we we're paying taxes. Um, and then I remember being in the ambulance, and they were like, "Whatever you do, don't lay on your left side." So the first thing I did was try to lay on my left side because they told me not to. And they were like, "No, seriously, stop!" <laughs> and like restrained me. Um. You're such a fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally something that could kill you. Hey, don't do that. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so I can't get back. I'm teleporting. You can't tell me not to do something, all right? Because I'm gonna do the opposite. Go to Trossland. Well, dude, I fractured my growth plate from a firework. Oh, I wasn't done, Jay Willie. Oh, you're not. Okay. Uh, well, where are we going, by the way? Trossland. Fucking asshole. Trossland. And there's three lost sectors there. And I remember, like, being wheeled into surgery, and then pink. I don't know what it was, but everything was pink and cloudy. They give you the good drugs? I th it was just, that's all I remember, it's just pink. Like, I can't ex explain it, I could feel and taste pink. You could taste pink? I swear to God, dude. What does pink taste like? I don't... F I pink? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I think bubble gum. Dude, when I the best part about surgery is the fucking drugs that give you to relax. Oh my god, no, no, they give you like basically morphine, and it makes you high as fuck. Oh, I don't dude, know. Don't talk to me about that right now. <laughs> Why? I was in the hospital for a month on Dilaudid. Ooh, what the heck? Why? It's my Crohn's disease. I was. Oh. Crazy, you know, I have tension in my Where'd small bowel movement. I was getting a shard. I guess how was your uh, how was your surgery by the way? I'll, I'll just Whatever. start from the beginning about all this shit. Any so anyways. Literal. Um. <laughs> what happened was at the beginning I was in school like shit like that like for some reason I just could not stand up straight like every time I would I was always slouching for like a week and like I couldn't actually stand up Did straight. Other than pain? I had severe pain in my okay. like stomach region. Like fuck this hurts. Where'd you guys go? I lost you. Uh, we ran through a door. I think I found you. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I probably should see a doctor about this. So we go see a doctor. He's like, yeah, he's definitely something's fucking wrong with you, so. <laughs> Hope you said it just like that. that. Yeah, something's wrong there, bud. Uh, okay, I actually did do shit. Are you guys in Mavic Square? No, oh, what, what the fuck, Jose? You yeah. outside still? Yes. People what, are why watching didn't you this. Let's like recording to be so confused. Um, I, I should have the game being recorded too. If not, oh well. Oh, do, are you streaming uh, or no? I found it. No, I'm just normally recording. Okay. Okay. And then I uh, went to the doctor's like, yeah, you definitely have like something there. There's so you've got a fucking CAT scan. They're like, yep, there's a pocket of fluid in your abdomen. So 
I was in the hospital for about a week for that. They put in a like a tube into the pocket of fluid and started draining it, and that was weird. It was absolutely yeah. disgusting. Like I guess like what happened was like my intestine kind of opened a little bit, and like some of the fluid from my intestine drained out into my abdomen. But anyways, after that, like, was a week, week and a half punch. I'm going ham. For that, I get discharged on uh, IV, IV antibiotics that I have to get done. So I had this, like, it's called a pick line put into my arm. Yep. So, I know what a pick line is. To uh, get IV antibiotics and shit like that. And then within 24 hours of being home, I have a flare up with my Crohn's disease. Like, literally, my intestine, my small bowel closes off and nothing can go through it. And it's very fucking painful. So I'm back in the hospital. And for a week, week and a half, just hanging out on drugs and steroids. Just like they don't really know what to do. So they send me to Hershey Medical Center. Was, was it just like the Hershey Park? Like, was it wonderful and fantastic? Amazing. And Dude. People were giving you candy and... Yeah, no. <laughs> no. They were giving me drugs, so I mean, <laughs> guess I mean, they were giving me candy. That's a but form anyway. of candy. So I went there and then it was awesome. Dude, the nurses were so fucking hot. <laughs> and, um, I was just so drunk. <laughs> so drunk. Hey, baby. Oh my god, it was it was amazing. So, anyways, I was there for a, a month. No, not there. I was there for three weeks. And I had surgery to get my tension, my small bowel removed. And then I had the colostomy bag put on, which is literally I shit into a bag on the side yeah, of my. Yeah, because like, that and... Well, I got a funny story about one of those. What was and... that? Huh? Come over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just runs around killing shit, and you just won't. Because I'm talking, I don't know what I'm doing. Follow us. And then, um... For some reason, right after my surgery, like a day after my surgery, I started having these pains in my abdomen again. I was like, what the fuck's going on? I'm like, I'm on painkillers, I'm fucking high as a kite. How am I still feeling pain? So they're like, alright, we'll do, just run some tests, do some scans, and shit like that. They found out that when they were doing the fucking surgery, that they accidentally, like... Ever so slightly nicked my liver. Oh! I was, in, I was interni internally bleeding, just ever so slightly. That's and, terrifying. Which created what's called a hematoma. It's a blood clot in yeah. inside yep. of me. Yep. And they are like, okay, well... <laughs> we got good news and bad news! So when they found that out, they rushed me... Like, my head doctors were rushing me around my floor trying to find an elevator to the operating room. And I was so high, I was having so much fun. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was just fucking on my journey, getting pushed around by everybody, trying to find an elevator. Oh, this elevator's not big enough. So like, oh, wee! <laughs> <laughs> just fucking moving around. How old were you when this happened? I was 18. Oh, okay. And then, after that, I woke up in the, the ICU. My legs were the size of, like, the trees in, like, California, like, that are ginormous. They were yeah, the red oaks. My... Yeah, my legs were fucking called. ginormous. They pumped me full of like so much fluid and shit. Oh, look this way, Kozak. Like, come on. And um, it was it was fucking what fucking insane. I had to just lay on my back for two days because they had a line that <clears throat> what's, what's that artery called in your leg? Oh, I don't remember. Is the femoral artery? I think it is. Yeah, that's in your thigh. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yep. They had a line from that going to the hematoma. They'd like kind of drain it, They'd possibly drain it if they could. Really? And I was like, so I, when that with that in there, I could not move at all. I had to lay back on my back for that. Period Wait, so of time. your hematoma was that fucking big? I mean, it, it wasn't. It was. It was like the size of a. Uh, let me think. Like you know, the size of like a cardboard like. Toilet paper roll. Yeah. It was pretty much that big. Holy shit. And, um, it was those inside, so, like, they didn't take it out. They discharged me, um, oh, well, never mind. hold on. Let me back up. Still in the ICU. After all that, <clears throat> this, and then during while I was in the ICU, some near, somewhere near Hershey, this guy was, was, like, super fucking drunk, and, like, the cops were calling to the house. 
and he started shooting at the cops, and the cops fucking, and he, he hit, I think he killed one of them. He either hit and killed, or just hit and hit wounded one of the cops. And the cops fucking lit him up, and he was in intensive care at the Hershey Medical Center. Huh? And I was walking around, just like, kind of hanging out. And we went to saw the to saw the dude like he was being guarded by the state police, and we didn't know what had actually happened. We just heard like what had happened to the guy, and they're like, this "Yeah, my mom was like, oh, I hope he's all right." And the fucking officer's like, "No, I hope he fucking dies." This guy's a fucking piece of shit. We're like, "Oh well, all right, bye, bad." Well, by the way, you guys, um, it doesn't like if I kill a a, a supply cache, it doesn't help you guys. You guys have to kill him yourself individually. Are you fucking twat? That's why it hasn't been so, going up. Well, I didn't realize it either, because, like, the last time I didn't kill any and it didn't go up. So I just completed it. So I'll do. It. I'll keep doing it with you guys until... Yeah, I'm at, like, 40% now. Hold on a second. I gotta just break down some of these weapons that I got. I just got a bunch of bullshit. We're going to the sledge now. Wherever you guys want to go. go to the so that, that colostomy bag, Kozak? Yeah. My 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 cousin had a uh, part of his lo uh, lower intestine removed as well, and he was going through the airport with a colostomy bag on, and uh, he like stepped through security, and the TSA guys like stop, what is this? And he just he just grabs the bag with his hand oh. and just starts squeezing it, and then my cousin's like, that's a colostomy bag. Do you know what that is? The guy didn't know what it was. Oh, he had to dude. explain to him you were literally just grabbing a bag of shit. And I think his supervisor must have heard, and he said, "Yeah, you're fine. Go through." Where are we going? The sludge? Yeah, yeah sludge. Yeah, that that would fucking absolutely. Suck. So, oh, sorry. Continue. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so, uh, Duck and I both have frequent headaches and migraines. Well, my migraines aren't frequent anymore. But my headaches still are. My um, my migraines aren't anymore. It's just my I just get headaches now. Yeah, me too. I um I found out that I had a thing called pseudo tumor cerebra, which was my brain thought I had a tumor, and was my brain was like acting as if I had a tumor and was like kind of shutting itself down and like filling up with fluids and stuff like that and like causing like a lot of pressure on my brain. Which was causing like severe migraines, so I had to go get a spinal tap to drain it, which was dope. Um, luckily they knocked me out for it, because apparently like sometimes they don't, in which case it sucks because you feel the needle going spinal into your tap. fucking spine. Oh, oh no, not, like, no, no, no. Out. You can see it on the show all the time, on the sh like medical shows all the time. Yeah, like Check they, they, they like just won't. Kids. In the clinic, like next to the fucking like chemo bit, like I. When I went for chemo, I should it even it. matter? Don't they respond? I don't. They respond. They respond because I. What were you saying, Cole? When I when I w was in chemo, I was inpatient, so like I, you know, they put me in a hospital wing uh, for the duration of my stay. But like sometimes, if like I was basically, I would go for six to seven days and then be out for a week and a half, and then go back for three to four days, out for a week and a half, then back for six to seven days. Unless I got sick or something, that was pretty much the schedule. Um, and, Unless you uh, got sick, you wouldn't go. Like you would go to the doctor, but you wouldn't if you did. What? If if I if I was if I was sick, I would. that's bad because he had cancer, so he had no immune system, pretty much. Right. Um. And so, uh, but like during those like week and a half periods, I had off, quote unquote. Um, like that's how my counts would bottom out because you get chemo. Well. With the, with the six day cycle, like by the end of it, you'd be pretty close to bottoming out. But like with the three or four day cycle, I'd bottom out like after I was out of the hospital. What does and, bottom out mean? Like my count, my blood counts would be oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, very low in the point to where he could die. Yeah. Um. So what you do is you go to the you. I would go to the clinic, or like the like the outpatient clinic where like day chemo has been set. Um, and they just fucking load me up with blood, um, like, the, you know, I just get blood transfusions all day. Um, <laughs> yeah, try, try and keep the, keep the factory going, uh, keep the lights on, and, uh, 
I, I remember, I always remember, like, I fucking hated when my, uh, when my platelets really low, because, like, platelet transfusions sucked, because they took, like, eight hours, and you didn't feel any better. I'm at it would just, 53%. Like, it would just prevent you from dying of, like, internal bleeding if you, like, fell wrong. <laughs> um, but, like, when you get red blood cell transfusions and you have low blood counts like you do when you're on chemo, it feels like you just took, like, fucking coke <laughs> and morphine and something else all combined you feel oh, so god. good because you literally like your body is running on fumes and then they give you this little just enough just enough <laughs> to make you feel like you're on top of the world for a day um call me guys like it's why blood doping works but those people are scumbags um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, sometimes my blood counts got really, like, scarily low. Like, my hemoglobin counts, like, some of the nurses, like, uh, that was, like... They went to go prick you and nothing came out? Yeah, that, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that happened once or twice. Like, they could not draw blood from me. Um, because <laughs> the blood pressure, my, like, my, my arms was so low, they had to draw Try running board. and sliding. Um. Or we can walk through this thing right here. How's that sound? But, uh... <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 <It was> closed. <laughs> like my my hemoglobin was so low that like you know, I would like if they took me like a solid minute to go from a sitting to standing position. Otherwise, the br like my brain wouldn't give enough blood. I'd pass the fuck out. Jesus. Yeah. Um. And like nurses would regularly comment on like Jesus, that's the lowest you would look at God I've seen in so long. He's a <laughs> that's always comforting. Yeah. Well, nurse is telling a little kid, oh, this is crazy. Usually people are dead by now. Oh, I was like, I was the life of the fucking party at that hospital. Like, I, I bet was... you were like, you made it, you made it worthwhile at the hospital. <laughs> Just yeah, no. like, I, not knowing like if you had the same like characteristics as you do now, but like I would assume you did. I could see. Just... I could see Cole telling the nurse, hey, no, you nurse, like, trick? Where you said, like, if you stand up too fast, you pass out. Hey, you want to see a trick that stands up really fast? And... Out. So you girls want a party? <laughs> I could be no, Miss. No, Mr. Cole. I could lose my job. Please don't tell anybody. I couldn't be persuaded. <laughs> I, I relate to what goes like talking about it. Fucking nurses at my hospital. Um, and then there were like awful, like fucking three hundred pound, like. You gonna destroy I, this one up here, Kozak? It's not like their whole body was dedicated towards making them breathe because they'd fucking be like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm at 53%. Uh, Cole, <laughs> speaking I don't get of... I can get that big. <laughs> Cole, speaking of that, uh, that hemoglobin I'm at 67%, thing, so I need, mm -hmm. like, four more. When I was, when I was, like, an infant, up until, like, when I was, like, four-ish, I had a, a blood disease called, uh, ITP. And this, this fucking name is ridiculous. It's called idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or purpura. And it, it's basically a disorder where your hemoglobin count is super fucking low all the time, and your platelets are really low. So, like, I could have just bumped my head on, like, a table, and I would have had a brain hemorrhage and died. <laughs> but when I, was, when I was, like, an infant, uh, my mom had me at home, and uh, all of a sudden she gets a call from the doctor, and the doctor said, where are you? And she said, well, I'm, I'm at home with John. I was like, okay, you need to wrap him in as many blankets as you can, Put him in the stroller and get him to the hospital right now. Here, and Chris. don't bump anything with him. Like, don't let him hit anything. Don't let him fall or anything. Because I would have died. <laughs> so I spent, like... I think from when I was an infant up... In, I still remember, like, being in the hospital when I was, like, four years old. Uh, maybe when I was five. I, I don't really remember. But I was in and out of the hospital for years. Trying to make sure I was, like, uh, getting that... Uh, yeah. It was mainly really bad when I was an infant. Uh, but when I was like kind of like three or four ish, uh, I was I think it was just in there just to like kind of keep up with it and do last minute stuff. So yeah, when I was a little kid, I had like a an iron deficiency or something like that, or like my blood kind of wouldn't clot as well. I think it was. So I had to take these fucking tablets all the guys? time, and they were disgusting, and I hated yep. it. But you had what? Sorry. It was like this weird blood defect, something, I don't remember exactly what it was, because it, it, it didn't last, it was only when I was like a little kid. Um, we had this deficiency where like my blood wouldn't clot well. 
um, if I got like a cut or anything and bleed like that, like I would bleed for fucking ever. And uh, that sucked. Yeah, no, when I was on chemo, like, you know, because all your- <laughs> Yeah, because chemo, like, if you get a cut, you're gonna fucking die. Uh -oh. Yeah. I used to get really bad bloody noses. I, I still get do. really bad. Me too. Yeah, like, to this day, I get bad bloody noses, but, like, when I was on chemo, like, that combined with low platelets, um, meant, like, if I got a, if I got a <laughs> bloody nose, I would be, like... Dead? No. They would just need a blood transfusion. Control. Well... <laughs> Sometimes I worry about that. I would be like, that, like that we get a whole fucking like method, like, like to like you know pinch my nose shut essentially, um, and uh, like these big like <laughs> I don't want to say sponges, but they're like like a re weird like paper that was kind of like extra absorbent, and uh, like I would just sit there like for like an hour with a bloody nose, and like I was actively like squeezing the shit out of these blood vessels to try and get them to clot. Um, I, yeah, my bloody, I get really bad bloody noses too, to the point where it's just, in, it's like the rest of my day is just dealing with this. Or at least for like the next hour, it's just me trying to deal with this. And you don't want to get it cauterized? Yeah. I, uh, I was gonna get it cauterized, and then I was like, nah, because I, honestly, you might want to try the Spectre if you never tried it. It depends on why your bloody noses are a thing, but if it's, like, due to mostly, like, just dryness. Yeah, like, that's what mine is. Alright, take a fucking Q-tip and put it, you, you gotta get the one that says fucking pain relief on it, Neosporin, put that shit up your nose, it's probably the first few times you're gonna get a play nose from it, it's worth it, do that every night right before bed, I swear to, you, you should try it, cause it might be a fucking sleep. I actually, luckily I haven't had a bloody nose in a while. Well then, Thank it's God. probably a good time to start, because it's about to get dry as shit out. Yeah, I, I always get them in the winter, on my right nostril. Um, like, I'll, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys both can, like, you both know the feeling where, like, you're waking up in the morning, you scratch your nose, and then you just feel it, and you're like, yep. oh, gotta get up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll have you guys, have you guys roll over on my nose, like, roll over on my face. And or you just fucking... lean your head back and just let it fall. I'm at 80%. Ugh. Have you ever anymore. seen people do that, Duck, where they try to stop the bloody nose and then they just start choking on their blood when they tip their head back? Yeah, I no, I've never seen people choke on it. Yeah, that's but... actually a legitimate thing. Uh, you can choke to death on your bloody nose. Yeah, yeah, I've seen people do that where, like, they'll do the, like, in school, they'll do that and then they'll start coughing and then the nurse is like, coughing no, blood. lean forward. Yeah. And they just, like, shove their head between their legs, basically. Yeah, I never, like, straight up, like, nurse, the school nurses would tell me to lean my head back. Because, like, sometimes. Like, you know, the, school, like, the policy, if you start bleeding, like, you you have to go to the nurse or whatever. So, like, a few times I had bloody noses in school, and, like, the teacher or the fucking nurses are like, lean your head back. I'm like, fuck no. Like, I'll get a fucking, I'll get a half a quart of blood in my stomach. Oh, man, this well, like, in, yeah. my, mine's not that bad. Like, mine don't get that bad. No. But I do get it in the, in the winter. I haven't had a bloody nose in a long time. I've only had a fever once. All your other problems only had a fever once. I've only had a fever once, and when I had a fever, it fucking tripped me out because I never had a fever before. So I was like oh, losing. I was like, why is it so hot? <laughs> but like, it, it was like a bad fever too. Like I almost had to go to the hospital. Like I had a temperature of like 106 or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's getting dangerous. And like, so I was like, I was like having fever dreams, but I wasn't asleep. I think that's what happened to me with my, uh... It was just hallucinating. My my thing where I was hallucinating, I think it was just the fever was so fucking bad. Like, I was laying on my couch, like, rolling around, and, like, I thought I'd been there for hours, but it had been, like, two minutes. <laughs> and, like, I was just, like, losing my mind. You guys ever had, like, uh, pink eye really bad? Nope. I had pink eye in, uh, both my eyes. At once. <laughs> So I'd like, I would wake up in the morning, and my What eye... kind of hose were you dating, Jay Willie? <laughs> I, I don't know. But I got pink eye in both my eyes. eyes. And just fucking cut your face while you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> right, seriously. Are these, are you almost dying in your sleep and the pink eye related somehow? Like, did they happen within a week of each other? No, this is like a year apart. Oh, somebody's playing the long con, I think. The pink, the pink eye was so bad, I would wake up and I can't open my eyes because they're like glued shut with this crust. Terrible. It would build up on my eyes, so I would have to like 
feel my way out of my bedroom to the bathroom. <laughs> I had a washcloth there because it's had like the after the first day I learned. You get a washcloth, then you turn the the water on for like as hot as it can go, and you soak. I it. need to punch this guy. Wait. And then I just soaked. Like I just like let it sit on my eyes for like two minutes. Thanks, Doc. What? I said I needed to punch that guy. There's three more guys up there. Where? Okay, I need to punch one of them. Sons of bitch, stop shooting them, I need to punch them. I was shooting the objective, eat a dick. You're not done yet, Kozak? Jesus. I have 73%. That's because you guys have been fucking killing them all the whole time. Uh, no, that would've been, that would've been me. I've been done like the last four that we've done. Thank you, now I got my grenades back. What, I tell you guys how I cracked my growth plate from a firework? No, I cut you off because I wasn't done telling a story. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Okay, um, you know like those little, uh, those like containers of fireworks that like shoot the mortars up in the air? It'll shoot like 50 of them or something like that? No, because I live in New Jersey and you can't have fun in New Jersey. Well, that sucks for you. Anyway, they're like these little boxes that they have like 25 to 50 mortars in them. They're like, they're like That's tiny little, the like, they look like rolls of quarters basically. Like one of those. Back to the and, gulch? Mm -hmm. And so what happened was, shot. whoever oh, made fuck. this fucking thing was retarded. Because... It started shooting off- Oh, the air. Chinese guy who makes a penny an hour? You're right. Poor him. It started shooting him off in the air, and then all of a sudden, it shoots one off to the side, like, kind of at, like, a 40 degree angle Kozak. from the platform. And we're like, is that supposed to fucking happen? And then all of a sudden, it, like, turns on its side, and from, like, 50 feet away, the thing shoots and hits me, like, right on my ankle, like, right on the bone. <sighs> hits me right there and cracks my growth plate, and then explodes underneath my feet. You're like- <laughs> You, like, How many toes did you lose there, yeah. Jason Pierre Paul? Oh, those things <laughs> oh, pack a punch. God. That it's fucking stun hurt. Stunt your growth. It's Cole here. Cole, did you hear that joke? Oh, he's already pretty much fully grown anyway. Uh, Jay William nearly blew himself up with a firework, so I called him Jason Pierre Paul. Oh, nice. Thank you. Jason <laughs> Pierre Willie. <laughs> I don't get that reference. Jason Pierre Paul is a new Giants football player who blew his fingers off with a firework oh, and still plays in the NFL. Weird. Yeah, I remember that. So, uh, good for him. One of his jobs is catching balls. Oh, I almost, I almost lost my hand to uh, the mortar. Like, from the fireworks. What? Like, the ones that are, like, the like size of a tennis ball, almost? Yeah. Um, we... <laughs> thinking about it now, the way we were doing our fireworks was not the smartest way. Um, you don't say. Well, okay, so it was, like, a circle of the mortar tubes and just other fireworks. And we had one team loading the tubes and one team light lighting the tubes. The way you said, like, phrase that made it sound like you guys were about to fight each other with fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so there was, yeah, a group running around with a lighter and then a group run running around with, like, mortars in their hands. And, uh... <clears throat> and I was the one to go load them. Well, I put my hand over to go load one right as one went off. And, uh, like... Oh, and I, oh, oh, I almost like I lost my eye because I was looking, I was looking down towards it, and I it hit my thumb, and like my whole face was like, like I like I got tinnitus for a little bit because oh, of how loud it was. It was yeah, my whole thumb was black, and shit like that. It was terrible. Fucking nutty. Oh, um, speaking of getting shot in the eye, when I was like ten, my brother had a birthday party where they went paintballing. And one of my brother's friends did the cardinal rule of never look down the barrel of anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... A paintball gun? Yep. Oh, they lose my that. face hurts just thinking about it. No, he had a swollen fucking face, though. He's lucky. He loses his eye. eye. He, didn't, he didn't lose it. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Would have been hilarious. <laughs> Um, idiot. what's funny is I didn't even, like, I could've gone paintball buying with them, but what I didn't, and this is, like, reason 3000 why I, like, now I think about it, I'm super gay. I was, like, busy planning their party. Like, the party party with, like, cake and stuff. I had more fun doing that than going paintballing. So. <laughs> why are we friends with you? Because <laughs> my comedic wit and sarcastic charm. Suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Why are we friends, Doc? Um. We we're both really good at Battlefield. Is that about it? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow both got PCs around the same time. 
I've always had a PC. Oh, right. I guess I got a PC and... Where are the supplies at, by the way? Because I, I just killed, killed one. Them. One right next to me. I'm by the door right there. The Kozak's shooting. Okay. Alright. Maybe you can share Kozak. I can... Eh... I'm at now, I need to see how close I am now. I'm at 93%, so I think I just need yeah, one, so more. one more. Because I probably has two more. Uh, sure. out here. Clint, AJ, rubber band, Bruce, join your channel. Oh, good, it's Brewski. Hi, Brewski. Oh, fuck. fuck. Fuck you, too. Wow, I said hi. Fuck you, eat a dick. No, hi, Kozak. Fuck you, too, Spectre. Okay. <laughs> um. God, what other stories were we going to tell? When I was a fucking, how old was I? I was like 14. No, I wasn't, that, I wasn't that old. I was like 10. When I was 10, my dad had a box of M80s. It was on 4th of July. I was like, hey, can I, can I want to throw one? So I took one to throw one, and me <laughs> being a fucking idiot, idiot, I fucking went to throw it overhand. But like blew up right next to your ear. And I fuck, I, no, I, I threw it. Right as I threw it, like, it was like three feet away from me, it fucking exploded midair. <sighs> Oh my god. We uh, we came up with a game where uh, you took like a five gallon pail and you filled it with water about like two inches, like two inches of water in it. Then you took like an old soup can and you poked like a, a small hole in the bottom. Like you know those tiny little like black cat fireworks? Mm -hmm. They're firecrackers, just the tiny ones. The, uh, small enough so like one of those would fit snugly in there. So then you put one of those in the hole and then you set the can upside down in the water, and then you lit that, and then when you would light it, the can would shoot up in the air. Well, mm -hmm. you know, like, the, the certain the certain firecrackers that have, like, the like the gray fuse, so they light, like, instantly, and they Literally go off? Just... Yeah, we, we, we didn't fucking know that would happen when we had those gray ones. So <gasps> Legendary we Ingram! Two of them going at once, and we lit both of them, and they both went off, like, right in our faces. And we had, like, what Doug said, like, the tinnitus for, like, a day or two. I still have, like, slight tinnitus in my left ear from shooting when I was in Pennsylvania. Because I was like, well, I just want to see how loud it would be without the earplugs. I have Not a good idea. Funny story, still loud. I yeah, am tonight. We were just like, we're just going to shoot a couple. We're not going to need earplugs. We shot, like, five or six magazines. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have tinnitus still because I've, we uh, I've had... Ten surgeries total on my ears. We were doing the whole joke Jeez. of what? I can't hear what? Like we were joking around, and then I was like, "How long is this supposed to last?" And he's like, "Mine's gone." I was like, "Mine's not." <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh, oh where are we it. going, Kozak?" I was like, "What's the reason, Chaz?" Must be below us. No. Oh man. Um, and uh, down here, I think. I think it's down here. And now, like, my, like, I don't hear, I don't notice the ringing anymore. I noticed it for a while, but, like, my left ear just feels plugged all the time. And I can unplug it by doing the whole, holding your nose and p pushing out. Cause like the one who needs this thing, and he's, like, not even down here. He's a need it too. Anyways, um, but now, like, my, my ear is, like, always, always feels plugged and don't, can't hear as well. But you don't just have a shit ton of wax buildup? No, I trust me, I don't. Yeah, no, I actually have the same thing. I think that like both my ears, it feels like almost like you have like a minor sinus infection. Never had a sinus infection, so I don't know that feeling. Oh, no. it, it just feels just, like I, well, there's water in my ears, like in, in like the tube between the ear and the mouth. I think I've had a sinus infection once. Oh, they're fucking. They suck. Yeah, they're I've had fun. a bunch of them. They suck. It's weird. Like I never really got like super sick or like hurt a lot, but like when I did, I did it to the fucking extreme. And the stupidest reason why. It was like always go big or go home for me when it comes to my injuries. I had a, uh, I've had probably. You one, Doctor, see, see I you already got one. You completed? Yeah. I've had probably a total of about ten surgeries on my ears, and the most major one was a, uh, like an eight-hour surgery, with uh, you know, like kind of how your eardrum looks. It's got like the kind of like the little loop. In the middle of it, it kind of looks like a little, like peninsula almost. How many more do you have, Kozak? I'm done. Can we go back to the tower, Doc? Yeah. I got fucking 15 tokens from that nutty.
Can you own the story, Julie? I'm sorry. Uh, my doctor though had to basically remove my entire eardrum oh. and then rebuild a new one. What and it the took him, fuck, Jay Willie? It, it took him. They always uh, had a lot of surgeries. Eight hour. It took him eight hours to do that, and now I've lost uh thirty percent of hearing in my right ear because oh. of it. <laughs> the so other, I, I've just had chronic ear issues. So are you saying that like infant. when we're talking to you and you go? What? That's not just you being retarded, you just sometimes might not hear us? Yeah. Hmm. I'm still gonna think you're just a retard, though. <laughs> well, you know what sucks, too, is my headset is broken right now, so I can only hear out of my right ear. <laughs> I swear to God, send me your address at a PM on a form and I'll buy you a new fucking headset. <laughs> sick and tired of this shit. He has to stand on one side of me too. when we're in ops, so he can hear me. <laughs> yeah. He really is like you tonight, it's just like running up to the left side of you. What? Like, what? Talk <laughs> Duck, when we were sitting next to each other, what, like reconning that village, when yeah. you were talking to me, I could not hear you at all. Like I literally <laughs> had my to right. hold alt and turn my entire head. Like what you say? <laughs> it really is like you're an old guy with no hearing. You to go on the left side. You know that one guy during fucking Saving Private Ryan when they're talking to him because a grenade went off beside his head? That's Jay Willie. <laughs> Pretty much. My what? ears are fucked. <laughs> oh man. Welcome, Guardian. What can I do for you, Guardian? Take this bright engram and shove it up your ass. Oh, Kozik, Ooh, you said I got an uh, exotic emo. You've had a colonoscopy before, right? Or multiple or something like that? Has anybody else here had a colonoscopy? Uh, fuck now. It? Yeah, yeah, I have. It sucks. Eh. I oh, hated it. I hate I terrible. the prep is what sucked. Ah. By the new setup, oh, so okay, this actually reminds me. Has anybody like gone in and either gotten like a shot or an IV and then all of a sudden they become like super hot, sweaty, and then they're like they get flushed, like they're like they become like really pale Fence and kind of shaky? Has anybody ever had that? No. I've had I learned either. from a fucking nurse uh when I went for my colonoscopy. Because they put an IV in me, and that happened. Like I got really well, pale white, and then here. I started sweating like profusely, like it was just beaded up sweat on my head, and uh, I started shaking, and lightheaded. And this old nurse comes in, and she takes like one look at me, and uh, she asks like, "Did you give him the IV?" And like, "Yeah, oh, that's called bagging, like bagging." And apparently, it happens in men, mainly. Wait, what? I yeah, what is I it? don't I don't know, but it. it I've had it happen to me with, on like two or three occasions, very rarely. I finally and got my legs. Sorry. One was I got a shot, and or uh, two of them were shots, and one has been from the IV. And it's wow. like it goes in. I don't look. Like I just kind of like let it happen, and then I get really lightheaded, stick to my stomach, and then uh, you start like sweating profusely, and I get really pale. Like, oh shit, dragon! For like uh, a minute or two, and then it's gone. Wow. It's the weirdest fucking thing, but I... <laughs> the nurse, who was like 60 years old, said, oh yeah, that's called like, uh, you ba like baggling, or bagel? I don't, I don't remember. It was called baggling or something. But it was the weirdest fucking thing. That's crazy. Hey, Doc, yep. if, if I leave the engrams that these guys have, and I get a higher light level, will, will the light level on those engrams increase? No. Based on your fire okay. team's outstanding performance, <coughs> I finally got the exotic legs I need. <laughs> yes. What are they? They're good. The Orpheus rigs. They make it so I can. So you, you know how when I shoot my my bow, it makes oh, yeah, the. Oh, you about this. I forgot about that. If I get if I hit seven or more, it instantly recharges my super, and I can just do it again. I need. God damn it. I need to do the nightfall. By the way. So do I. Oh, we all do. How many is it for nightfall? Three. Three. That's so annoying. I'll do it twice. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Your skills are always welcome, friend. Anybody here had a concussion? Uh, Multiple. yep. Like, Multiple. four? Bears had a lot of concussions. Really? Yeah. Return safely, Guardian. From what? Uh, sports, and I think one time he 
spell during like an army exercise. We are honored to serve the city. My own football teammate gave me a concussion and warm up before a football game. <laughs> what a dick. They're doing like for whatever reason our coach thought it was a great idea to do the aggression drills. Like where you go right one on one right up right before a game. And like the guy I was going up against, like basically picked me up by my leg and flipped me up so I landed like straight down on my head. <laughs> yeah, that guy's a dick. Ten out of ten. Yeah. BDA hundred over hundred. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, come on. Something to say? Alright, I'm heading off for the night, guys. I'll see you later. Later, man. Good night, Jay HM2 FMF Williams disconnected from your channel. Watch the Diva top love. <laughs> I love listening to Call Play. Uh, Overwatch. Is that sarcasm? No, it's fucking hilarious. What? I love, I love listening to you play Overwatch. Why? Are you hearing me breathe? Just... Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I thought my mic was, like, tuned enough that no, you guys wouldn't be able to pick up most of it. It's, no, it's fine. I don't care. It's just hilarious. You're a fucking minge. Let's get started. Fucking hoser. Hoser? I got the anti-extinction plate. Fighting. Literally the same one I have as the Wildwood plate, just different colors. Um... I think I should stop recording. We're done talking about weird shit probably, right? Yeah. Alright.